Hi! Today's video is all about Betty Burr Pample Mousse and Water Lily Tea Dress from the Zara Emotions line. If you want to know more, stay tuned! Welcome back! Ludi here! If you are new to this channel, this is all about perfumes. And if you love perfumes as much as I do, please click like and subscribe so you won't miss any of my videos. To my returning subscribers, thank you so much for your support. So I made this video because I have been seeing a lot of Zara perfumes lately. Zara makes a lot of beautiful and affordable perfumes. The Emotions line is a collaboration with Jo Malone or Jo Loves as a perfumer. It was in the fall last year when I've heard about it the first time and they just released it in Europe. Luckily, during the holidays, my sister visited Europe and she got me this too. The two I have here are 40 ml bottles. The bottle is a simple minimalistic transparent type with a black cap and just a sticker. It came in a white elegant looking box. So in every emotions line perfume, there is a caption written in the back. I have thrown away the box of my perfumes long ago. It was kind of worn already when I got it. These perfumes traveled a long way to get to me. So in each box, there is a description written in the back. In the very bare pample mousse was a crisp white cotton shirt layered with citrus cologne, an everyday accessory for me. And in a water lily tea dress was soft jazz music plays in the background, picnics on the lawn, a vintage tea dress floats by in the gentle breeze. I like how each perfume is presented with each of the captions. It prepares your mind for what it is about to experience when you smell the perfume inside the box. I'm going to talk about the Veriber Pample Mousse first. This is number one in the line. It has only three notes, grapefruit, mandarin orange, and Veriber. This is a linear perfume. It stays grapefruit all throughout. It's juicy and mouth-watering. Like when you peel a grapefruit or orange and the skin bursts with some mist. To me, the opening is bright and citrusy. It is sweet because of the mandarin orange. But as it goes to the dry down, it starts to become woody because of the veriber. It balances out the pamplemousse. At this stage, I don't find it sweet anymore. This is a simple perfume. It's very uplifting and would be great for a hot summer day. When I start to smell this, I couldn't stop sniffing myself because it smells so good and addicting. The only thing is it doesn't stay that long in my skin, although it stays longer when I spray it in my clothes. It's good enough if it stays like three to four hours in me. Then I have here Water Lily Tea Dress. This is number two in the Emotions collection. Again, it has three notes, bergamot, green mint, and musk. To me, the opening smells like a citrusy fragrant mint leaf. Then, few seconds after the opening, it becomes somewhat herbal. This is not the eucalyptus mint candy-ish type, but the freshly plucked mint leaf. This is the smell I get when I make my fresh mint tea. You know when you pour hot water over fresh mint leaves. I find this perfume very unusual. It's sweet but not sweet. Most people say this is fresh and clean. Its name is Water Lily Tea Dress but there are no flowers listed in the notes. For me this is floral and delicate smelling. I cannot say though if this smells like water lilies because I haven't smelled one before. This is a very beautiful perfume. It becomes even softer and more delicate way after the dry down. This also smells green and airy. This is a happy fragrance. True to its description, I picture a laughing lady standing in the middle of a grassy garden. The breeze is gently blowing her hair and her dress and she smells like this. This stays long on my skin like six to seven hours. I was wearing it the other day, it was raining, and it was lovely.
And that's it for Zara Emotions, Betty Bear Pample Mousse, and Water Lily Tea Dress. As always, thank you for watching. Keep safe everyone. Bye!